Wagwan Massive, I'm Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. For this video, I'll be sharing how I make this super moisturizing and absorbent hair and skin butter made with aloe vera and tuna or cactus plant. For the ingredients, I use cactus or tuna plant, aloe vera plant, shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, coconut oil, olive oil, argan oil, glycerin, fenugreek powder, and moringa powder. What I do, I measure up my coconut oil and I pour it over the aloe vera and the tuna that I've already cut in chunks. I also pour the olive oil into the blender. And I, I'm just going to quickly blend these off camera. Next, I strain the mixture using a stocking cap. Now tuna and aloe vera are excellent natural moisturizers that can be used to condition the scalp and hair as well as the skin. Both plants, particularly the tuna plant, are traditional remedies used in Jamaica to treat hair and scalp. Next, I measure out the butters. I use approximately two ounces of mango butter, two ounces of cocoa butter, and five ounces of shea butter. I take these to the to the stove where I use the double boiler or the heat transfer method to melt the butters. I add the tuna and aloe vera which is about 2 ounces, I add that to the mixture and I use the mixer to just quickly stir these in. This is a fenugreek and moringa powder. I add, I add a tablespoon of that. When I'm done mixing, I take this to the freezer and I allow it to sit for 30 minutes and then I remove it. Here I've removed the mixture from the freezer and I'm just blending it starting to get fluffy but it's not at the consistency that I want just yet so I will just quickly stir this together and take it back to the freezer. In this section I've removed it from the freezer for the second time I pour the argan oil in and I'll pour the glycerin in as well. I use the mixer and I just mix until this gets fluffy 
I mix it until I reach the consistency that I desire. You can see how fluffy it is getting. I will basically stop at this point and just transfer the butter to my container that I will store in the freezer. I store this in the freezer because I did not add any preservatives and so in order to prevent the oils or the butter from going bad too quickly, I just ensure that I store it in the freezer. It should be good for up to 30 days in the freezer. I take out a portion each time I need to use and I allow it to come back to room temperature before I use it. So it's always important to do a patch test. Here I'm just doing a simple test. You can see how absorbent and moisturizing the oil is and how it just absorbs into my skin quickly. The consistency, it is very light. Now here it is, my big shop in 2018 and you can see how much my hair has grown. I use this butter only on my hair shaft and not on my scalp. And that's it. Please remember to share, like and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you and thank you for watching.